For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. The stock market began the day on a sour note as geopolitical developments heightened investor anxiety. Russian President Vladimir Putin's decision to lower the threshold for deploying nuclear weapons in response to the United States supplying Ukraine with long-range missiles sent shockwaves through global markets. This escalation drove investors to reevaluate their positions, creating volatility across major indices. While the Nasdaq and the S&P 500 managed to claw back some losses later in the session, the Dow Jones Industrial Average remained in negative territory for the entire trading day. This uncertainty pushed investors towards safer assets. Treasury bonds experienced increased demand, leading to a drop in yields as prices climbed. Similarly, gold benefited from the risk-off sentiment, with prices surging as the US dollar pulled back from a recent one-year high. These movements reflect a common theme. During times of geopolitical strain, markets often favor stability over riskier assets. In contrast, Bitcoin showed resilience amid the turmoil. The cryptocurrency continued its steady ascent, hitting a new all-time high. Optimism is building within the crypto community, with many speculating that Bitcoin could soon surpass the $100,000 milestone. The excitement surrounding Bitcoin's rally highlights how different asset classes respond to the same geopolitical pressures. Meanwhile, Walmart stood out in the corporate sector with stellar financial results, pushing its stock nearly 3% higher to an all-time high. The retail giant reported adjusted earnings per share of $0.58, cents, beating analysts' estimates of $0.53. Cents. Revenue increased by 5% year-over-year to reach $169.59 billion, exceeding expectations of $167.72 billion. Net income showed an impressive jump from $0.06 cents per share last year to 57 cents per share this quarter. These strong results prompted Walmart to revise its full-year sales growth forecast upward. The company now anticipates growth between 4.8% and 5.1%, compared to its earlier estimate of 3.75% to 4.75%. This optimism is underpinned by several factors, including a 22% surge in e-commerce sales as consumers increasingly shop online. Walmart's ability to keep prices low on essential items has also helped it attract budget-conscious shoppers, even even amid ongoing inflationary pressures. Chief Financial Officer John David Rainey highlighted another positive trend. General merchandise sales, excluding groceries, grew for the second consecutive quarter after 11 quarters of decline. He emphasized that Walmart's customers prioritize value and affordability, making the retailer a key destination during challenging economic times. With the holiday season approaching, Walmart is well positioned, and Rainey noted that the company is off to a strong start. Walmart's performance is not just about its own success, but also serves as a barometer for the broader retail sector. As the largest U.S. company by revenue, Walmart's results offer critical insights into consumer behavior. The National Retail Federation projects that holiday spending will rise between 2.5% and 3.5% compared to last year. While this growth is positive, it reflects a slower pace than the 3.9% year-over-year increase recorded between 2022 and 2023. Beyond Walmart, several other companies made headlines. Supermicrocomputer narrowly avoided delisting from the Nasdaq by filing a financial plan just before the deadline, sending its shares up by over 31%. Symbotic, a robotics company leveraging artificial intelligence, saw its stock surge nearly 28% after reporting strong quarterly results. MicroStrategy also extended its rally, climbing almost 12%. The company heavily invested in cryptocurrency announced plans to increase its Bitcoin holdings further, riding the wave of the digital assets continued ascent. Commodities remain a compelling area for investors seeking diversification. Gold has been a standout performer, gaining 27% year-to-date and outpacing the S&P 500's 25% rise. Analysts are optimistic that gold could maintain its momentum into 2025, driven by its role as a hedge against economic and geopolitical risks. Silver and copper are also gaining attention due to their applications in renewable energy and artificial intelligence technologies, which are poised for substantial growth in the coming years. While precious metals shine, agricultural commodities such as corn and wheat present opportunities as well. With prices at multi-year lows, these staples could see a rebound driven by increasing global demand. On the other hand, oil markets have struggled, reflecting weaker demand from key economies like China. Analysts predict a potential surplus in 2025 attributed to slowing demand growth, strong non-OPEC supply, and OPEC's plans to increase production. 
Shifting to the technology sector, NVIDIA continues to dominate as a leader in artificial intelligence hardware and software. Despite a remarkable stock price increase of nearly 190% this year, analysts remain bullish on the company's prospects. NVIDIA's critical role in powering AI-driven industries ensures it remains a cornerstone of the technology market for the foreseeable future. In another development tied to the evolving Trump Trade 2.0 narrative, the newly established Department of Government Efficiency has proposed a game-changing initiative, creating an app that would allow Americans to file their taxes on their phones for free. This announcement rattled the tax preparation industry, sending shares of Intuit down by over 5% and H&R Block dropping by over 8%. The potential disruption this app could bring to the tax filing landscape marks a significant shift that could alter the dynamics of the industry. Trump media itself didn't fare well either, with shares falling by over 8% following the news. This reflects broader uncertainty in the digital media and fintech spaces as these developments unfold. Turning to the consumer goods sector, Kraft Heinz faced headwinds declining by over 1.5%. A downgrade from Piper Sandler weighed heavily on the stock as the firm expressed concerns about the company's sluggish retail sales and potential challenges from new government health regulations. The combination of slower growth and regulatory risks has created a less favorable outlook for the packaged foods giant. Retail giant Target has been working hard to attract cash-strapped shoppers by slashing prices on thousands of items earlier this year. As the holiday season approaches, the company plans further discounts to maintain customer interest. Analysts remain cautiously optimistic, expecting earnings per share of $2 and 30 cents on revenue of nearly 26 billion dollars for the previous quarter. However, investors are beginning to question how long the aggressive price cutting strategy can sustain its bottom line without eroding margins. Lowe's, another retail heavyweight, delivered strong quarterly results exceeding expectations on both earnings and revenue. Despite this success, its forecast for slower sales next year overshadowed the positive report, leading to a stock decline of over four and a half percent. The home improvement sector continues to navigate challenges tied to changing consumer spending habits and broader economic uncertainty. The pharmaceutical industry also saw turbulence, with Insight taking a major hit. The company's stock tumbled by more than 8% after it announced a pause in the Phase 2 trial of its new treatment for spontaneous hives. This setback raises questions about the future of the treatment and underscores the inherent risks tied to drug development. In summary, today's market reflected a complex interplay of geopolitical tensions, corporate earnings, and evolving commodity trends. Safe haven assets like gold and treasury bonds provided stability, while Walmart's strong performance underscored the resilience of the retail sector. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin demonstrated continued momentum, and commodities such as copper and silver showed promise for long-term growth. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.